oh wow, it will start raining no sooner than I start going live. It's so crazy. It's like, okay. All right, so y'all, if the Wi-Fi start doing Wi-Fi cool things, it's because of the rain. Y'all know how it can be, like, no signal. So if it start glitching or, you know, coming in and out, let me know. We're going to try to get it back to where it's supposed to go. Hey, hey, y'all. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday to everybody out there. I'm enjoying my day today. Um, even though it's a rainy day, it's not the prettiest day, but don't mean we got to be ugly, do we? We definitely don't. A few things going on right now that I didn't even want to talk about, but I felt like the last time we went live, people were so tuned in on what was going on with Diddy. I'm so glad that he's not the one making the headlines right now. I am so tired of hearing about Puff. I think Puff is tired of hearing about Puff. I think right now he's just in the cell like, nigga, like, put something else on the news. You know, tell us about what's going on with this election, what the weather going to be like, when fall going to kick all the way in. Because I got a few sweaters I've been looking at trying to put on every day. I'm ready to wear my sweaters. I'm ready for my hoodies to be on my sweat. I got a few things that y'all see today. I got on one of my older little jackets. It was really, really cute. It's like a little crop. But this is how much I've been ready for fall. I just wanted to feel all fall-licious. I know I already started decorating the house, putting a few pumpkins and shit out. Come on, fall. I'm sick, of the, I'm sick of the heat. I'm sick of not knowing what to put my air on. If you anything like me right now, you're battling with your thermostat. You don't know whether to put your air on 72 or 69. You just like, damn it, I'm just praying. I'm praying that when I wake up in the morning, I don't either A, be stuck to my mattress or B, Having to thaw the hell out. Either way, we are here. And there's a lot of things that's going on. Lots of things going on. Like right now, I think Cardi B um, just came on another rampage about her uh, her husband or soon-to-be ex-husband. We never know whichever way the wind blow. Um, she was telling people about how she got her lick back. We live in a world and a society where getting your lick back is so important that y'all are willing to go to any extreme to do it. Let me tell you something. The best lick you can ever get back is to not get a lick back. Let God handle it. You know that part in the scripture where it says, stand still and let the Lord fight your... Stand still and let the Lord fight. We be so amateur on getting our lick back. We don't even care about how it make us look. Now, I don't know what went on. I don't live in Cardi B or Offset's house. I don't even like to put my mouth on situations. But since they're inviting us to their bedroom, I do have an opinion. Now, I heard the woman was saying shit like, you know what? Yeah, I won't go treat you like a man at a house because you want a man. I saw her live. I watched it. I like a little gossip in my spare time. And also like watching reality TV. I love to watch things where people got more drama than me because as you see, my biggest problem of the day is whether well, coach gonna let me live or not, okay? I don't really have a lot of drama, so I watch other people's lives like, oh, damn, not cheating, not fighting that dinner, not beating up Natalie, none. I like to see what other people doing because my life ain't that exciting. My life goes like this. I wake up in the morning, I do a little yoga. I walk my dog, I talk to the Lord, I do a little praying. I go get a latte, I come back, I cut on my TV, I cut off my TV, I write down a joke or two. I do material for y'all. I might go live. I check my calendar date just to make sure, hey, Darren, we can add a few more dates in December. I, I don't have enough time to be cheating on my spouse, running off at my mouth, talk, arguing with a bitch at they house, pouring a drink on somebody, popping coochie on a handstand, popping pills with friends, doing hookah with hoes, boring my friends. I don't got enough time in a day to do all this shit. So when I'm watching people and all their drama, I'm like, how many hours you got in a day? Oh, God. I would be so tired after an argument with some of y'all. be like, you know what, bitch? I'm taking a nap. These people can argue with a person at the gas station, go and meet up with 10 bitches you know don't like you, come to a person's birthday party that you won't invite it to, get upset because that person didn't speak to you, come to the reunion, throw shade at each other, get in a scuffle, wake up and next season do all that shit again. I am tired. I am tired after reading two emails. I'll be like, ooh, bitch, I need, I need a coffee. This is me. I'll be tired. I'll be tired after sitting in five o'clock traffic. Where do y'all get your energy from? Oh my God, a live, a whole hour of bashing my husband who no one forced me to marry, who I voluntarily gave three children. Now I'm telling the world how much he sucks. Oh, oh where y'all get y'all, where y'all get y'all stamina from? Do they sell that shit at Walmart? 
I need Cardi B stamina. Oh God, I need somebody to sell me some of these reality stars times. Where y'all get y'all hours from in a day? Where can I buy y'all cell phone minutes? Oh, my phone don't even have that many characters. Do you know I still got one of them phones that tell me, oh, no, you've ran over 1,500 characters. When I see y'all typing these long statuses about each other, first and foremost, we met in 2021. He was a gentleman opening car doors, buying flowers, champagne showers, lobster towers. This is the first paragraph. Come to find out he got two bitches, a side bitch, and a boyfriend. I'm like, damn, I went through his phone. This is the second paragraph. After all of that, don't your phone say you got to start all over or you've reached enough character? What kind of phone, y'all? I just be, I be tired. Oh, I be tired after reading some of these statuses. I'm like, Jesus. Oh, God. I got hot one day reading some shit that Al B. Shore was typing about Kim Porter and Diddy. That man wrote a run on, he wrote a biblical verse. Coming to you as a man, chapter one. By the time he got to chapter two, we was at Thessalonians, chapter one, verse 13. By the time he got to Ecclesiastics, I said, nigga, this is a bo You have wrote the scripture, Al B. He, this nigga wrote the scripture for us. I said, not, not Genesis through Revelations. Lord, not generations. I'll be. And some of the shit that he was reading, I ain't even under, did he wrote, I didn't understand. And it's not because I have a problem comprehending. I can comprehend. I just didn't understand people. I said, what? What? Not I'll be almost sure. It's a, the sentences were running on, no punctuation. It was a lot of hashtags. I be tired. I can't argue with nobody for three days, let alone three years. I watch reality shows sometimes and feel sorry for people. You've been arguing with this same person for three seasons. It don't take me all of three minutes to tell that this bitch don't like me. And you know what I do once I know that a person don't like me? I stop being likable with that person. I stop being in that person's company. I go ahead and erase your number. We can unfollow each other. We don't have to have no nothing. We ain't even got to see each other. I ain't got to come to nowhere where you throwing nothing. I see your name on a guest list. I don't come to that party. What, how do you know that a person have not liked you for two seasons long and still show up in the same vicinity as that person? I'll be like, whoa. I got, I got at the, I got at our mutual friend birthday party. You hate me. That message was already displayed. It was clear to me. That lets me know that at the next gathering, maybe A, I don't need to go there. B, maybe I need to see who all gonna be there. Well, see if I do go there, I don't have to sit at your table. That's what life tell me. Life don't tell y'all that this person already threw a drink at me, then already told TMZ all my news, and tried to secretly sleep with my man. This person don't like, life don't be telling y'all that. It won't be a season four with me after the reunion. I'm like, y'all, I'm parting ways. I see that these people don't like me. How do I know? I just watched the playback. She said that I can get it. My brother can get it. She even talked about my mother. Now, you want me to be cordial and sit here at the, re at the reunion like I didn't see you say all of that. This is me looking like, <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. So, yeah, reality TV ain't my reality. So I watch it because I know that it is someone's. Back to Cardi B. Cardi B has told us for the 30th time that she's going through infidelity. And yes, my heart is with you. I do not want to see any woman get cheated on. No man, more than I want to see a man getting cheated on or a man doing the cheating. But sometimes when these rich people tell us their rich problems, I just be like, mm, what do you want us to do? Now, don't get me wrong. I make pretty good money. I can't sit here and hold you. But these are extremely rich people. This is, I cashed in $30 million this year. I made Forbes list, front page rich. Now you telling people that have cashed in maybe $30,000 and it, it, what do you want us, what do you want us to do? Now some people saying that Cardi B is only doing this because she has an album coming out. Okay, cool. We do know that we live in a world where drama sells tickets. But here's the thing about me. I believe the last thing you said 
So if you told me that you and this man ain't together, that means that when it's time for you to go on tour after promoting this album, I don't want to see him all in your videos. He shouldn't be on a remix to none of you. You told us that we bought this album thinking that y'all was split up. Now I want to hear at least nine out of ten of them songs about you wanting up on him. How you never going to get with him again. Don't bring us no Usher confession shit. You remember when we heard Usher's confessions? We thought it was about Chili. Then Chili gets on an interview of herself and said, that album had nothing to do with me. We have been broken up. Now we buying this album in hopes that you're going to talk about Chili. Don't bring the Chili to the pot if you ain't going to make it hot. We want the recipe. So if you ain't really bought, if you ain't really breaking up and you got us buying your album or buying into this shit and y'all ain't really breaking up, shame on you, Cardi B. I'm going to buy the album anyway because I like the drama. I'm not going to lie. Now, one of the people, I don't like no drama in my own life, but I do like to get into other people's drama. I'm like, oh, okay, he cheated. Okay, you're going to take him back. That's me. Cardi, we're going to listen to your record, but I just feel like it's better ways to sell records. There's been so much shit going on this week. The Cardi B's drama just happened last night. That just happened last night. I was like, why is this breaking news? Do you remember in the 90s when we were growing up, breaking news was a woman had three children. She took them by and by a bridge. Her and her three children. The only woman, the only person that came back from the bridge was that woman. That would be breaking news. That would be on 2020. Nancy Grace would cover it. Channel 9. Shit, it would be on Fox 50 and so. That would be breaking news or I don't know. It's a sniper. It's a shooter on the roof. That was bre Now breaking news is my husband is cheating on me. Why is that? It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Uh, whatever. I'm over it. Um, I'm glad that we're not talking about Diddy anymore. That is my favorite thing to not talk about right now. I don't want to hear anything else about the man. I don't want to hear anything else about Baby Oil. I don't want to hear anything else about his mother because now people are just going to dig up unnecessary shit. I should not be on my timeline witnessing my fellow, my fellow Facebookians play FBI agents. You know why I'm not going to voluntarily help the FBI do their job? Because the FBI don't voluntarily help me do my job. I've never been in the, in, you know, in the green room at a comedy club and I'm rewriting a joke or I'm working some out and, and a federal bureau agent just pop up like, hey, you need help with that punchline? I don't believe in volunteering my work. Now, I'm going up and down my timeline and I'm seeing Diddy sits down with an interview in 1998 with Ricky Lake. I don't even think Ricky is, is interested in watching that interview. So why are you? You seen Diddy sit down in 1996 with Rolanda. And here's the part that'll behoove you all. When I go and click on the person that's sharing this old interview, this little bitch is born in 2001. Baby girl, you don't even know Rolanda. You don't know Sally Jesse or Rafa fucking L. Why are you telling us this? Sally don't even got the red glasses on to even speculate this shit. Why are you bringing up old shit? Yeah, Diddy was talking about his parties, of course, because he was trying to get people to come to him. When you're throwing a party, don't you want to invite people? So the best way to get people to come is you got to make it seem like this is the party to be at. So, of course, when you ain't got nothing else to sell and you got a story to tell, you're going to tell about your party. This man is trying to get you to come to the party. Now, I've seen 35 old interviews up and down my timeline, Diddy and his mother. Now y'all going to dig up Biggie. Yeah, let's dissect some of his lyrics. First of all, I fuck RuPaul before I fuck them ugly ass escape bitches. Even if Biggie was trying to sleep around at one of them Diddy parties, what the fuck can you do about it now? I mean, I, I be looking at some of the interviews like bringing up, bringing up Biggie or Craig Mack. What is that going to do? A, a, a dead witness can't talk. Rest in peace their soul. But I don't care about Diddy doing, I mean, Biggie doing shit at Diddy's pool party because Biggie ain't here to make a big splash no more. He ain't jumped off a diving board since 97. So with that being said, why are we bringing him up? Y'all want to ask anybody anything? Ask the witnesses that are alive, like total. And that's Kima, Keisha, and Pam. Hell, and the husband, Omar, too. Hell, you can ask Mary J. Blige. She was just on the Tamron Hall promoting her boot. No, Sherry Shepard promoting her new boots and her new um, tour that's going. Why y'all ain't asked Mary? Y'all ain't asked Farnsworth Bentley. Shit, y'all sitting here bringing up Biggie Smalls. Somebody the other day had up an old video. I think it was a uh, 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 Puffy and Biggie, and then it was somebody else they had had up it. I was like, what? 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 What can Biggie do to 
to help us right now. That's just as worse as when Oprah and them was trying to bring up the fact that Michael had did shit. Who cares? He ain't even here to tell the story no more. Do you really care? Do you really care? All y'all gonna do is piss his mother off. And you don't need to piss off Miss Valletta. Let that lady, come on now, let that lady rest. You don't want nothing stirring up your grandmother. Let that lady rest. But yet some of the interviews just ain't got nothing to do with the price of tea in China. Y'all got little girls dancing in Faith Evans videos. This was Puffy's idea, but who but was they dancing for Puffy or was they dancing for Faith? Now we mad because Faith is up there singing. I remember little girls in black leather doing the butterfly. Okay. Okay. So are you going to take that up with Faith or Puff? Because it, 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 I, what? Is it just me? Is it just me? Because when I'm reading a lot of this old stuff, I'm like, what does that have to do with us? What they got to do with this case? You can't bring Biggie in here to talk about shit on the trial that Lil' Kim ain't going to talk about. You just, that, that train has left the station, people. Let it choo-choo. 